वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टूडेज डिस्कशन टॉपिक इज फाइंडिंग आउट द पम्पिंग रिक्वायरमेंट्स टू पम्प वाटर एंड यूज ऑफ एडजस्टमेंट टूल इन डी डब्ल्यू सिम इन द एंड ऑफ दिस ट्यूटोरियल यू विल बी एबल टू फाइंड आउट द पम्प आवर रिक्वायरमेंट्स टू पम्प वाटर एट अ स्पेसिफाइड डिस्टेंट एंड अ स्पेसिफाइड एलिवेशन ऑल्सो यू विल एबल टू फाइंड आउट द नेट पॉजिटिव सक्शन हैड available for the pump and uh, you will able to calculate the pressure drop of the system and in the end you will learn how to use adjustment function in dw sim so let's move to the problem statement that we will solve today in dw sim uh, we have to deliver water from a water lake up to the hill uh in a water tank to supply water to the residents living at the hill station and uh, the tank volume is given that is the 15 cubic meter and this tank should be filled in 1 hour uh the inlet pressure is the atmospheric pressure and all the pipeline uh has a 2 inch standard diameter with schedule 40 and the material of pipeline is carbon steel so we have to find out pump power requirements that we will install and uh, the available net positive suction head for this pump and the pressure drop uh, through uh, this route to uh, to supply water from this water lake up to this tank so uh, let's move to the uh, dw sim to solve this problem now we are in uh, dw sim environment so just create a new simulation and click next right to water okay next we have to specify property package because we are only dealing with water so we are going to use steam table as a property package click next and uh, for units i am going to use c5 unit set and then finish okay so we are ready to build up our uh, simulation flow sheet so let's start so first we have to put a material stream after that go to the pressure changing tabs put a pipe segment and uh, before moving further i will suggest you just uh, deactivate the flow sheet calculator after that we have to install a pump and another pipe segment and then we have to install a tank okay so i'm just giving the first one is water inlet and uh, this is the uh, first pipe segment so the inlet is water inlet the outlet we have we will create outlet and uh, it, we have to deliver one energy stream now click the pump and for pump the material stream 2 is the inlet outlet stream will uh, be generated by this uh, system okay now just click on pipe segment 2 so the inlet is uh, material stream 3 and outlet we will create just create energy stream as well to close the energy balance calculation click the tank and uh, the inlet stream will be material stream 4 and uh, create outlet that is material stream number 5 so i can say the material stream 5 is water out okay so let's specify one by one 
the conditions so the water inlet the uh, the water in the lake is at uh, normal temperature and pressure okay so 25 is okay one bar pressure is okay regarding the flow rate uh, i am just starting with 100 kg per hour as a guess value okay so the next step is the pipe segment that is actually this part of pipe okay 0 0.5 meter in vertical position of this pump so now how we can specify pipe segment in dw sim so you will learn here so in calculation parameter there is a tab journal so here we we know the length so that is okay and the method pressure drop calculation method is also correct because bags and brills uh, mainly deal with the liquids there are other two they are with uh, liquid and gas mixtures and uh, so this this one is okay for our calculation now next is go to the hydraulic profile and uh, the tube is uh, the type of this pipe is actually a straight tube but uh, dw sim gives you a freedom to choose any piping segment like elbow butterfly valve ball valve gate valve whatever in the piping you can select from here but we have here the straight tube so that's why i am just checking uh, straight tube uh, the quantity is one and uh, the material so the material is given that is the carbon steel okay and uh, the length length of the pipe is uh, 0.5 meter okay so just specify 0.5 and similarly the elevation is also 0.5 meter because it's uh, uh, vertical so the on diameter tab just double click on it then this window will appear on two inch diameter just select schedule 40 this one okay and press enter and uh, then uh, apply changes okay so uh, how this pipe segment will look just go to this view tab and you can see uh, the position according to the distance okay so we specify our first pipe segment uh, for thermal profile if you are interested to know how much heat is uh, uh, going to the system or how much uh, heat is coming from system to the uh, to the to your uh, uh, working fluid so you can uh, do the calculation using thermal profiles but we are not interested uh, in thermal calculation so we just uh, 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 continue with hydraulic profiles next step is to specify the pump okay so the uh, pressure increase uh, and uh, i say the pump will update 75 percent efficiency and uh, the outlet pressure i specify here uh, sorry maybe uh, 1.5 bar at the initial guess okay to see either pump will able uh, to coop up uh, uh, the pressure drop during the system uh, during uh, to, uh, to supply fluid uh, from this point until this point so let's see okay so uh in in pump uh tab there is no more to specify at this time so just move to the next one that is uh, the second pipe segment okay the second pipe segment is actually is not a very straightforward actually it has one two three four and five segments at different elevations and different length so now you will learn this thing how we can uh, uh, make this kind of calculation in dw sim okay so let's start 
so again uh, the first tab is okay just go to the hydraulic profile tab straight tube that is also fine and i already um, uh, you already know that all the piping material is carbon steel just press carbon steel and uh, here the first segment of pipe is horizontal and two meter okay so just specify the length of pipe is two meter and elevation is zero because it's horizontal and again external diameter double click on it two inch and then select schedule 40 as press enter and accept this modification so this is the first segment now we have to add all other segments here for that just press on this uh, plus button so this new window will appear so this will give you the freedom to choose second segment so let's go to here the second segment is actually 100 meter length and the elevation is 30 meter okay so let's come here uh, the material is again carbon steel okay and a length is 100 and uh, the elevation is 30 and external diameter again 2 inch and 40 schedule press enter and accept this one okay put another one another segment okay and uh, again the material is carbon steel okay and what would be the length so this one is 5 meter and horizontal okay so just press 5 and elevation 0 and uh, again the external diameter is uh, 2 and 40 and press enter and apply changes okay add another one so this one is 4 meter vertical okay this part 4 meter vertical material is again carbon steel uh, and uh, 4 meter and 4 meter and the external diameter 2 inch 40 schedule press enter okay apply changes and again this one is the last segment okay so again the material is carbon steel and uh, the length is 2 meter and horizontal okay 2 meter and horizontal we will press 0 and uh, for diameter just double click 2 inch and schedule 40 press enter and accept changes now you can see uh, how your uh, piping system will look like uh, according to the distance okay so now we already have specified the pipe segment number two next step is we have to specify tank so the tank volume is already given that is 15 cubic meters so we will enter here 15 okay and uh, now all the uh, input values are already uh, provided it's time to run the simulation and let's see how it will behave so just press f5 and see okay so uh, it says a negative pressure was calculated inside the pipe segment so in here the pressure drop is too much uh, that we have to increase uh, this pressure the pump outlet pressure so instead of uh, 1.5 i would uh, say it's 3 and then run again so the problem is still uh, persisting so just increase maybe 5 bar now the simulation is uh, completely converged okay so just click on material stream number five and to check out how much is the pressure so the pressure is 1.6 bar so the tank pressure is uh, one atmospheric so 
I want that the material stream 4 should also be uh, should also uh, be on the same uh, uh, same pressure so what I will do I will minus 0 0.67 from pump outlet pressure so it would be uh, 4 point uh, almost 4 5 okay and then just see so it's almost one bar so you can play around it and uh, which pressure you want you can have here okay so the next uh, there is another thing that was asked it was asked that the this tank should fill in one hour so the residence time of the liquid inside the tank should be one hour so let's check how much we have here so wow here we have 149 hour to fill this tank on this flow rate that is uh, 100 kg per hour so let's see how we can automatically change the water inlet uh, flow rate to to fill this tank in one hour for that you just have to select a logical operation control block that is also called adjust function just click on it and uh, here we have to specify the manipulated object that is water inlet and manipulated property is the mass flow rate of this one okay and uh, the control object is actually the tank that is uh, tank number one and uh, the property is residence time and uh, the set point for the residence time is one hour it should fill in one hour okay so if we want to uh, 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 solve this adjust function with the flow sheet just click on this that is the converter solve with the flow sheet solver after clicking on it now uh we are ready to start the simulation but before starting the simulation i would recommend that the current residence time is already 149 so and we want that it should be one so it's already too much in order to uh, save time and uh, uh, to make the system more uh, easier i'm just starting this simulation uh, using 10,000 kg per hour and then see how uh, would be the final result okay just press F5 and now you can see the flow sheet is being converged okay it will take maybe one minute or less now the adjust function and the flow sheet has been converged and you can see that here I put uh, 10,000 kg per hour now it's already been changed 14 1954 kg per hour water flow rate uh, would be required to fill this tank in one hour okay on the other hand the other results in which we have to find pumping power that is 1.938 uh, kilowatt that would be the pump power and uh, the other that is the pressure drop for this uh, whole system for the piping segment 2 uh, the overall pressure drop is 4.172 bar and for the inlet pressure drop to this pump is 0 0.05 bar okay another thing that you cannot uh, have uh, here in the results tab of this pump that is the net positive suction head available how you can find it for that just go to the results create a report click on the pumps and then simply view the report okay here it will generate a very short report about this pump so in this report you can have available net positive suction head for this pump that is 9.497 meter as well as power and the outlet pressure and the pressure inserted or the pressure increase in terms of head by this pump so using this specification you will able to select a pump uh, for this utility so that's all for today's uh, tutorial i hope you like it and understand it and uh, just use this knowledge for your own application if you like my content please don't forget to subscribe and like my channel 
सो अंटिल नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय बाय